Liver markers you don't want to miss in functional blood chemistry. The body's chemical factory part three. Welcome to Be Fab, Be You Made Simple, your daily dose of inspiration designed to help you reinvent yourself by optimizing your body and mind. I am Maria Horseman, a health editor and coach, a fitness trainer, a speaker, and an entrepreneur founder of BeFabBU.com. Our episodes are short and will bring you valuable content and practical nuggets for optimal health and fitness that you can implement ASAP. Let's get you to feel fabulous every day. Are you ready? Check out the show notes to one, schedule a free call with me to discuss a plan to take your health to the next level. Two, submit a question to be featured in our Ask Me Anything episodes on Sundays. Connect with me on social media and much more. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you hear, share with your friends and leave it a rating. to miss in functional blood chemistry. Welcome back, my BFAB BU Made Simple family. I hope you're having a great day. And um, today I have a super duper episode for you and it's still part of our blood, uh, our body's chemical factory. And this is part three. In the last episode, 47 and 48, we talked about several aspects related to two superhouse organs, the liver and the gallbladder. Look, today I had planned to focus on sharing my personal experiences of doing three liver flushes and conclude this mini-series. Well, I've changed my mind. I am taking a step back to discuss two things. One is functional blood chemistry analysis as a tool used to interpret uh, your blood test results. And uh, number two is two blood markers related to liver and gallbladder health that are often neglected and you don't want to miss. I've got a great show for you. This is the kind of information you want to know and deserve to know. Are you ready? Let's get started with a few basic questions. Raise your hand if you get your blood drawn annually. Raise your hand if you accept your doctor's feedback. Your numbers are within normal ranges. That's what normally the report says. Rarely these days we talk to doctors, right, about our numbers, especially if they are all within ranges. Raise your hand if you got uh, the, your labs are normal, but you feel like crap and you are unclear what to do next. Raise your hand again if you're confident your doctor is running comprehensive la- uh, panels for you. And raise your hand if you know what these biomarkers and panels are, especially if you have preconditions, chronic diseases, have been on a um, sad diet, which is a standard American diet, for years, isn't it funny that actually standard American diet is a sad diet because it is a sad diet? Anyway, <clears throat> and you've been in this diet or and you've been actually not feeling well for quite some time. Raise your hand. Maybe you got three out of five. Maybe you got, you raise your hand five times. Yep, I'm setting the stage for three recommendations I want you to listen close to. One is get in your blood test at least once a year. You're staying in your power and getting what you need and deserve tested. Number three is assuring you get biomarkers tested for a deep analysis of your health. As a holistic health coach and fitness trainer, 
working with nutrition endocrinology, blood chemistry analysis, blood sugar imbalances, again, the whole body, the whole nine yards. One of my jobs is to help you to go from point A to B, right? Whatever that point A and B is regarding to your health and fitness. Knowing where you stand at today will help us to build a healthy plan that will help you reach optimal health. I have yet to meet one person showing all markers within optimal levels, and that includes me. Yes, the body is adapted and is always changing in response to the environment. So if you think that you're in great levels, hey, let's check it out and let's check it out from a functional perspective, which I'll talk a little bit more in a second. I recommend you walk to your doctor's office empowered in handing him or her a list of labs and markers to run. Next step is to get these labs interpreted from a functional perspective. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between functional and regular or normal ranges. You may or may have not heard about functional lab chemistry analysis. So the normal or pathological uh, ranges are very wide ranges to detect health problems before emergency happens. They are based on statistics and not on whether uh, or whether a certain value represents good health or optimal physiological function. Another big problem is that the way reporting is presented to you, it looks at one marker at a time in a linear way. This is not the way the body works. You don't want to wait until it's a problem or pathology. You don't want to become pathology. Many people who do not feel well and feel crappy will come out with normal ranges or within normal ranges on a blood test. Normal, it is not optimal. Okay? Hear me again. Normal is not optimal. Functional ranges are narrower and based on optimal physiology and not the normal population. Functional ranges are known to be optimal ranges and regular or normal ranges are known as pathological or disease ranges. I don't think you want that. You don't think, you know, I I know you don't want to get those numbers. The values in between the two ranges, functional and normal, are considered subclinical and can indicate the early stages of disease. So functional blood chemistry analysis gives you an indication of the level of dysfunction that exists in the various physiological systems in the body. It helps you identify the factors that obstruct you from achieving optimal physiological, biochemical, and metabolic functioning in your body. Woo-hoo! I know you want that. And here is something else I need to tell you. You are not to be labeled by any of the labs, whether their blood or stool or saliva or urine by anyone. Functional lab testing is to identify malfunctions and healing opportunities within hormones, digestion, immune system, detoxification, energy production, and even the nervous system. I'm not in the business of diagnosing and treating disease. I am your coach working in a non-specific matter, identifying healing opportunities and underlying causes. The numbers that you get from these labs mean little 
okay, without doing a full history and applying clinical correlation. And that is done through, you know, discussions with you. I apply wellness principles on a journey of ever deepening insights about individual obstacles to health and opportunities overcoming them. So functional biochemistry analysis is one incredible tool I love, love, love to incorporate into a plan of attack that removes removes uh, contributors to these imbalances. And no worries, I give you a list containing the biomarkers for your doctor to run. That makes your life simple. And if you don't have a health insurance, uh, like I don't, I can set you up with a laboratory to get your labs done. And that's how I do mine. If you wish to age beautifully, stay away as much as possible from surgeries and loads of medication. You want to pursue being optimal, not normal. Functional blood chemistry analysis is a tool that empowers you to prevent disease. Now that I got (laughs) you to understand the difference between optimal and normal ranges from at least a blood perspective, let's talk about two liver and gallbladder biomarkers that are often ignored by mainstream practitioners looking at individual markers. So the most common biomarkers run for liver health are ALT, AST, alkaline phosphorus, albumin, total protein, and bilirubin. Yet, I've uh, seen many healthcare professionals omitting one or more of these, although they're common to be run. But yet, sometimes, you know, I'm not sure what happens. The two enzymes often ignore that I don't want you to miss are GGT and LDH. GGT detects liver and the bile duct problems. And we spoke about this in the previous episodes during this mini series. This marker, GGT, is also used to monitor alcohol consumption. Optimal range in US units, again, optimal range is between 10 and 17 international liters, international units per liter, instead of the conventional range that is between 3 and 18. Holy smokes, right? 3 to 18, <laughs> conventional, and optimum 10 to 17. Elevated numbers could mean biliary obstruction or insufficiency. Could be liver cell damage. Higher numbers could also mean alcoholism and acute or chronic pancreatitis. Very serious problems. We uh, have a better idea of healing opportunities when we have other numbers, other markers included in this analysis and some of these markers I mentioned earlier. Now, the second is LDH, which is not to be confused with uh, LDL, which is a lipid profile. So LDH is found in the liver among several other parts of the body. It represents a group of enzymes that are involved in carbohydrate metabolism. LDH is released in greater quantity into the bloodstream when there is damage to tissues. So functional range in U.S. units is 140 to 200 international units per liter. Conventional range is much wider between 100 and 200. So the elevated 
LDH numbers could be liver and biliary dysfunctional, could be cardiovascular disease, anemia, tissue destruction, uh, destruction, vital infection, tissue inflammation. Again, we are able to come closer to the root cause of the problem when we look at the other markers altogether, instead of looking into that one little marker at a time. Now, check this out. When we see imbalances with this liver uh, markers, we get to look to uh, lipid profile, especially cholesterol, HDL, and LDL, and the ratios. Because elevated cardiovascular numbers could be due to a decreased bile efficiency. Now you can probably get an idea how important liver is to cardiovascular health. And the body is amazing. And I hope this information raises your awareness to functional ranges and to the fact that your markers are not made to be interpreted as standalone. The work is a be- the body is a beautiful machine. And we gotta take a look at it comprehensively. If this discussion made you curious and intrigued about functional blood chemistry analysis, I'm here to help you. I offer a standalone session that includes a comprehensive uh, functional blood chemistry analysis report and key lifestyle recommendations to get you back on track. I also include uh, functional blood chemistry analysis in all my one-on-one health programs. And of course, if you don't want this magical tool included, I can remove it from the package, but I'm not quite sure why you wouldn't want to do this, but it's all up for discussion. It's all about what you want and how I can assist you. So book a call at bfabbu.com and I would love to be part of your health village and healing journey. So next episode, I will wrap up this mini series about delivering the gallbladder. I will share my experiences doing a few liver flushes and, um, the importance of liver flush, and a few reasons that someone may consider doing a liver flush. So thanks for listening, for sharing this episode with uh, um, anyone that uh, is in a healing journey, and also for leaving a review. If you are listening to this show in Apple Podcast or iTunes, uh, please leave a review and your feedback, and that will help the show grow and reach more awesome people just like you. Talk to you soon. Thanks, and bye-bye for now. Thanks for listening to the BFAB BU Made Simple podcast. Can you do me a favor? If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and leave it a rating. It helps the podcast, and I really appreciate it. If you're wondering where to start, head over to my website linked in the show notes to sign up to receive encouragement, tips, and strategies to maximize results. While you're there, download a free health guide to get you started today. If you're looking for a coach and trainer to help you optimize your weight, body, and health, get on my calendar. Let's discuss your goals, establish a custom plan, implement it, and celebrate your results. Together, we can do this. Find the link to schedule a free energy audit strategy session also in the show notes. Connect with me on social media. I would love, love, love for you to let me know that you're listening to the show. Also see the show notes for the links. In addition to a qualified healthcare practitioner, it's important that you have someone in your corner who is in for you and will help you to plan and stay on track implementing your goals. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll this boat. I will see you on the next episode of BFAB BU Made Simple. Just a reminder that this podcast is for educational purposes only. This podcast is not a substitute for health care by a doctor or other qualified medical professionals. This podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services. Music